Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my workshop. Today we've been a brook, a river, maybe a waterfall. And we walk in the wood. We walk in the wood. Yes. And we have the highlight here. And I wash the brush. What a dark colors. Sap green, land green, and dark gray. With the dark gray. stretch the colors. We need the dark colors. And we need a gray and green. We need more green, land green and sap green. Now, we have the point here, right there we have the point, now I use a small brush, just one inch and a half, a small brush, and I use a dark blue. Dark blue is indigo blue. Indigo blue. As it broke. It broke the star over there. It's coming from the wood. With the blue, with the dark blue, we touch the gray, we touch the green, that's okay. We need the shadow. And We see the brook is passing over there. We have a chance for the movement in the water. That's because the, the water is moved all the time. We have the rock and sometimes the baby, baby waterfall, yeah. And we drag the brush. Too thick, just the dark, just the dark colors, and it's a river is coming here. More water in the bottom. More water here.
Yeah. That's good. Indigo blue. Indigo blue. We use a white letter. We, we touch the gray and the green with blue. That's okay for the shadow. That's a river. Now, we use um, this brush, one inch and a half, yellow canyon and light green on top. And I push up. That's the trees. We have the highlight here. And the highlight is stronger. Yeah. And maybe we use a more yellow and white with yellow for the highlight. And the highlight is stronger. It comes from the sky. On the same side, I use a light green right here. And we give the tree shape and the tree is in the foreground. Yeah. Now, we use the light green again and we turn the brush and we dab it for the trees. Camium yellow and light green. Two colors. Two Good friends color. That's a French color. That's fun. Yeah. This color is melt together. Light and green. Yellow and green. Uh, okay. We take um, the fan brush a small fan brush with a light brown and white and we see the land over there. We see the land. Burn sienna and white. Sienna and white, and we stretch. I use a liner. And we see the trunk. spatula, a big spatula with white and light green. That's a land.
Yeah. More highlight because in the foreground. One more step. And I drag the colors. Yeah, we have the grass bank. We have a different step. Highlight, just a little bit highlight. Come, yeah. Let's come from the sky. And the long grasses. We turn a brush. We need a purple, purple and white. Purple and white here. Okay, we have another flower. That's a green. I use the white, just a little bit white. Or the highlight on the, on the lupin. We have a lupin around the brook. Yeah. Now we use a green and gray, dark green and gray. And just did Abby. We'd have here and here and here for for the flower. That's a lupin. Yeah. And I use a flat brush, another brush, with a light brown and white, because we don't forget we have a, a little road here. And a light brown and white. And we have the heel, just a little a little heel. And a flower purple and dark green. This way. The small spatula. Look. The small spatula. with white. I use the white for the ripple. Because we have the movement every time. And we have the move, movement here too. That's a ripple.
we have a lot of movement here. Here, it's the same with, but before we do the shadow, I need the shadow first. And we cross the colors. I use a more gray and more green. That's a dark green. And we dab first and we stretch with the corner and we stretch up and down and side to side. We cross the colors on the weaker side, not with the stronger side, on the weaker side. Yeah. That's okay. And the purple with the purple and white for the lupin. That's a flower. That's a flower with a light green. We have a lot of flower here. We turn a brush. This way. We have a lot of movement. No sky. That's a river or the brook it's coming here. We have the movement all the time on the water. That's a ripple. It's not a really wave. It's just a ripple. That's a small ripple. We pass the side of the spatula. I use the side of the spatula and I put more pressure. We put a lot of pressure. Some ripple here. Just a little movement. here but we do the shadow first it's better that's very important we don't do just the, the ripple in the shadow after we scratch the ripple we do the, the shadow first and after we do the ripple here just a little movement We use a big brush, one inch and a half brush, dark gray and dark green. This way, with white, I use a big spatula, sometimes a small spatula. And we stretch, I stretch the white. Just a little movement. Maybe we have a some waterfall, or oh, very small. It's not really a waterfall, it's just... It's 
just a movement. Yeah. We have the road here and there are a little cliff. We pass around the wood and behind. We have the land here and the trees over there. The sun shines. We have the highlight here. And we have some movement on the water and the ripple around the land here. It's a baby waterfall. It's very small. And here, here now. With gray, dark gray and dark brown, that's um, bird umber, bird umber. Burn humber with gray. It looks like black. It's a very dark. If you don't have a gray, you take a black. No problem. We need just a dark background. That's a big rock here and a foreground. We paint a big rock here. Now, we use a big brush for the shadow. Now, we need to just up and down first, and I use a small spatula for the lichen, that's a mouse, that's a grass on the rock, just a little grass on the rock. And a burned sienna with white and a light brown too. Just a flat with a little touch. We don't put pressure. Just a little touch. Okay, we use green again for the grasses. Okay, and we drag it. I use a little green, just a little bit green, and we cross on the weaker side. and with white. We have the ripple on the water. We do the shadow first, and after we do the ripple with the spatula. Now, we have the place here for the ripple again. It's not too strong. Yeah, that's a movement. Movement in the water. It's a movement here. And here. I like this rock, and we have um, a little rock just here. And with some highlight on the rock. Maybe one more or a couple more. That's a rock. But 
a light brown with white or the highlight light brown and more rock maybe here some place we have we have the rock around the water often we see that I like this place it looks like um, a lupin I think everybody likes a lupin there's a highlight maybe light blue with white or the blue flower around the road around the road it's okay yeah. we have a place for sign you can visit my website magicianofcolors.com Thank you for watching. Have a good week.